critical milestones for Cyclops, a new submersible designed to take as many as five people deep beneath the ocean surface, eventually as deep as 4,000 meters, more than three and a half miles. At the University of Washington in Seattle, the first test of a scale model of Cyclops' new filament-wound carbon fiber hull, designed and manufactured by Spencer Composites in collaboration with OceanGate and APLUW. We're testing a one-third scale uh, model of the pressure vessel that will be used on Cyclops 2. Initially when we launched the Cyclops program we uh, planned to have Cyclops 2 go to 3,000 meters and we found through our engineering that in fact we can achieve uh, at least 4,000 meters and maybe more. Uh, Cyclops 3 has been planned to be 6,000. The pressure at 6,000 meters? About 8,762 pounds per square inch. By comparison, Navy submarines commonly operate at depths of 180 to 250 meters. The pressure vessel consists of three parts, a cylinder and two hemispheres. One of the unique elements of this test will be the hemispheres. So the hemispheres are also carbon fiber, which has never been done uh, at this uh, size or to this depth. The goal of this test, pressure of 6,000 pounds per square inch. Here, the pressure is raised gradually. At the 71 minute mark, the pressure increased to 4,000 pounds per square inch. At 72 minutes, the pressure was turned up to 5,000 psi. But three minutes later, at a pressure of 4,285 psi, representing a depth of about 3,000 meters, the test was aborted by apparent water intrusion into one of the carbon fiber domes. Yeah, she's open. That is the most risky part of the test and the most uh, difficult to analyze. Since it's never been done, there's no test data on how carbon fiber in a hemisphere will respond to the pressures. This initial test was deemed a success at 4,000 psi, the equivalent of 2,800 meters. The carbon fiber hemispheres are now back at the manufacturer, Spencer Composites in Sacramento, for analysis ahead of additional testing down the road. In September, this successful test of another APLUW OceanGate design collaboration, LARS, Launch and Retrieval System. To avoid surface turbulence, the Cyclops vehicle on LARS is submerged five to 10 meters, providing a stable underwater launch platform. To surface, the process is reversed. LARS eliminates the need for large and costly vessels. Look at, we can use an ocean-going tug that might be $10,000 a day versus a specialized research ship that would run, say, $100,000 a day. The idea, says Rush, is for Cyclops to enable deep ocean diving for explorers, archaeologists, scientists, movie makers, and commercial users. Cyclops submersibles and related systems are the products of a commercial venture partnership, OceanGate and APLUW. We couldn't have done it without that partnership. The Applied Physics Lab has been effectively our engineering partner. Science at work for you. This is APL. The Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.